Hi there, and welcome back to Baldur's Gate 2. I'm Baron, and we found this genie's flask here. So we're going to use it. Guess what happens now? <laughs> I am bound. What do. Oh, who are you? Ah, I see. The master is gone, and you have managed to get yourselves in trouble. You wouldn't be the proverbial genie in a bottle, would you? Ah, uh, that I would, Manling. I assume that, now that you have escaped, you have come seeking the magical item that has been stripped from you by our collective captor. You have an item of mine? I do. A thing of power that still carries a hint of your essence. There is something odd about the signature that you leave on this item. No matter. Can you give it to me? If I had the power to give you a weapon, I would. But the force that binds me is strong. As long as I am trapped within this flask, I am, with, I am within the mage's power. If you can secure the means of my release, I will give you your weapon. That sounds like a fair trade. How do I secure the means of your release? This flask that I am bound in is a creation of magic. It is unbreakable as long as it remains apart from its twin, the real flask. Oh god, hold on. <coughs> Yeah, I'm sorry about that. Yeah, the real flask. You must find the original flask and bring it back to me. Once it is within my grasp, I can break the enchantment and be freed. Mm, where can I find this flask? He will keep the flask close to himself. The master would not risk it falling into other hands. Perhaps he keeps it in his chambers or with his dryad concubines. And perhaps the golems have it. I cannot pinpoint its location from another plane. You shall have to search for it. Return to me when you have found it and we shall exchange my freedom for your weapon. Okay. So I guess we have to search for a magical bottle now. Looking over the side shows only a dark windy void that descends endlessly below. Let's not fall down then. Okay, so we need to go back to that spot. Consider it done. No. Hey, you gotta be kidding me. Fine. How about here then? Why are you so quick? Have it your way. Um, where's the rest of my party are still there? <coughs> yeah, make sure to use your quick, we quick weapon and quick spare slots. These slots will make you more efficient when in combat. Although efficiency really isn't a topic when you have paused the game. Protect me. Yes, help us. Free us. Um slow down. Who are you and what's going on here? We are his possessions. His servants. His concubines. Please help us escape. Um how can I help you? If you can escape, you must take our acorns to the queen. Tell her of our plight in this creature's lair. Take them to the fairy queen who lives in the south end of the Windspear Hills. This will be our deliverance from this... this Irenicus and his dungeon. So, I see we have a name for our capture at last. Irenicus, is it? Tell me, Dryads, why this Irenicus would go to such length to keep you three here? We are supposed to instill emotion, but he is barren inside. I'm not sure what he expects. You can foil his plans for us, at least. If we take the icons to the fairy queen, then she can regrow our tree and free us. Why do you not simply leave? Uh, you do not seem to be chained or caged as I was. 
We cannot leave our trees. If we are separated from our trees, we will die. Alright, how can I help you? Our trees will die too. Yeah, okay, I get it. I will be happy to help you in that case. Thank you. You must take the acorns and deliver them to the fairy queen at the south end of the Winsbury Hills. Uh, I think we already had that, didn't we? But he has taken the acorns. He knows of our plans. It amuses him. He has left our acorns with Illich. Illich is mean. Illich is dead, my friends. Uh, then I suppose I shall have to obtain your acorns from this Illich fellow. Where is he and where can he be found? What? Who is he and where can he be found? Okay. Illich is the chief clan is the clan chief of the master's Dugar slaves. He is somewhere within his dungeon. Return to us where you have the icon and we will tell you how to escape. So I thought beautiful. I already had those. I used to dream of dryads and their beautiful trees. You are welcome among us, girl. Youthful exuberance is music that we have not heard in such a long time. I used to dream, but he doesn't. Your charms don't work on him anymore, do they? How do you know of this? He has touched you as we, hasn't he? Irenigo searches for something he cannot find, and he looks within those that have no more idea than he. Irenicus. A name that is uh, synonymous with death and ugliness. No, death sounds different. He showed me. I spit on his name. I spit on this place. Live as you can where you must, young woman. You will not survive if you give in. We have learned this. I have learned something different. So beautiful you are. I almost can't see you. I just want to go home. Oh, hey, would you blow me? When can we go home? Don't I have the icons? Here are the icons. Hey, I have your icons. Guess what? You have done a noble thing for us. Please take these icons to the fairy queen who lives in the south end of the Winsbury Hills. We will help you escape. You must use the portals to travel up to the next level of the complex. This is how Irenicus travels. The top portals are triggered by a certain key. He uses her key. He still loves her, you see. He keeps her room just as it was, though well protected. We go there sometimes and look at her things. May the forest always open a path for you. And we get 9500 XP. You have returned, elf. Is there something else that you require of us? I search for a flask in order to free Eugenie. Have you such a thing? You are very noble to risk your own safety to free the Jenny. We have the flask and shall give it to you. Yay! That was easy. Okay. How do they grow a tree up here, you know, below the earth? Without sunlight? How do those things do their photosynthesis? Does it work with artificial light too? Oh, it must be magic. So, what do we have here? How about we are really careful here? Yep. That one servant almost died in here. Gotcha. What? As I step through the doorway and alarm sounds, it then abruptly stops. And we see traps. What? What is this place? It's... it's beautiful. Oh, there is simply no way that this space belongs to the same person that owns those horrible glass containers. Perhaps it is simply a sign of him we have not seen. No, it can't be. Not the person I know. This, this bed, the table, I know of them. He would, he would, seek, he would speak of them while, while he... It's for a lost love, kept in perfect condition. She, she despises him. This is his monument to her. He spoke of all this, but but his voice was cold. No emotion at all, not even remembered. He spoke of these things even while he cut, he cut, and the spells that wove through my brains, cold, ugly things. He cannot hurt you now, you are among friends. It still hurts, his sick fingers are still in my head, doing whatever it was he started. I see blood and death behind my eyes. Iranicus. This room. If he could care for anything, he would care for this room. Above the lives of all of us. It makes me sick. I feel... I feel so much hate. 
I would burn this place, but it's nothing. Even if it means so much, it's nothing. Let's do what we must to get out of this place. It's making me sick. Okay, then disarm those traps. Yay, level up! I guess we have to lower the difficulty again. So now I'm a level 10 mage. Are some? Additional level 2 and additional level 5 spells. And yeah, 6 more hit points and 3 lore points. <laughs> uh, maybe another master's at arrow then. And um, some monsters or lower resistance? Lower resistance. Okay. So what do we have here? We that was close. And there's another trap here. This place is littered with traps. Anything locked? Nothing locked down. Yes, I will do my best. Bartram. Portal key. Oh yeah, inventory full. Wait, this uh, uh, it's the Lord. Okay, so I guess I can scribe those spells. Braces of defense AC eight probably doesn't do anything for me, but for anyone, what's that? A potion of master theory. Oh, you're too far away. Okay, you and see that. Portal key, it can't be moved. You can't even move it around in the inventory. That's really sad. What else is in here? Pommel jewel. Wait, what's that? Pommel jewel of the equalizer. A piece of the equalizer. This is a part of the equalizer, a great long sword forged long ago as a tool for balancing the powers of the universe. Also known as the Sword of Neutrality, it did greater damage the further the target's alignment was from true neutral. The Equalizer was last rumored to have been wielded by the elven hero Elaine Greenleaf, who was lost during a voyage to the Underdark. Other rumors have however proposed that the blade's pommel gem was stolen by an escaped slave who returned to the surface world. So, oh yeah, too far away, I know, sorry. <coughs> what do you want? Return to the party. So I guess I have to find the rest, uh, the, f the other pieces of the equalizer too. Oh, full. Okay. Oh, we are out of arrows. What is my task? Um... I, and I guess we have to return to the um, Ginny now. What? You see an enemy? What's that? A golem. What's up with you? Where are you going? How about you, you and you take a closer look? Where Minsk goes, evil stands aside. <laughs> the sanctity of the mistress's room has been violated. The intruders will die. Oh, really? Maybe not. We get 2,000 experience points for a If we can hit one, that is. We can. 
on my honor. Okay, uh, let's return to the portal. Yes. Or doorway, rather, not the portal. Where's the rest of my party? Oh there, oh, who are you? Why are you so far behind? That's probably Imoen, yep. Can you hide in shadows? Name it. No. Good to go? What do you require? Very well. You must gather your tea before venturing forth. I know. Done. Oh wait a second. It would be sufficient yes. if I only as you ask. Sword, not words. I am ready and willing. Spot. Jump on my sword while you can, happen. evil. I won't be as gentle. Guess what? It shall be. I sense that you have the flask. Let us make the exchange. At last, I am free. Here is the item, Fleshling. You are an honorable person, and I feel that I must warn you. Keep away from the master. 15,000 experience points. Yay. He will torture you for escaping and kill you for freeing his genie slave. Escape from his lair quickly if you value your life. Farewell. Bye bye. Something else? On my honor. Consider it done. So what did we get? Sword of Chaos plus two. Seravok Sword of Chaos. The blade of Seravok, brother of Haver Chablomi. Used in the battle they fought in far away Baldur's Gate. Haver Chablomi prevailed, destroying Seravok's plans and rescuing the sword coast from the Ring of War. The sword itself defies identification, likely forged specifically for Seravok. To best focus the infernal energy he hoped to control. Much of its power died with him. Each hit drains one hit point from the target and transfers it to the wielder. This will not heal beyond the wielder's maximum. It's a plus two weapon. A two hundred sword, not bad. Something Minsk might want to have. You're coming? I guess so. So we give it to him. Oh, oh yeah, we already had that. Wait, I think we should raise the difficulty again. Yep. What do you require? Okay. Now we have to go to a portal. This one or this one? I guess this one is closer. Hmm? Yes, I await your word. Pick up a few more arrows. You coming? What is my task? Where's Jahira? There she comes. Jahira? Yes. On my honor. Okay. Let's see what that portal it shall does. Be. There is sanity in all this madness. If you are not in league with the evil that dwells in this unholy place, Yoshimo begs your assistance. A fair line, easily used by servants of the sorcerer themselves. 
We have been imprisoned and worse and given many reasons to distrust strangers we encounter. I share your sentiments. I have seen much here that has disturbed me. I myself am a warrior with no evil intentions. Please, I would welcome any assistance you might offer. <sighs> How did you come to be here? It's actually quite uh, embarrassing. My profession does not leave itself open to those who are not very. Yet, somehow I was caught unaware. I came to Athkatla years ago from Takaratur to seek my fortune. At some point I went to bed in my room at the Copper Coronet and I awoke in a strange room with a very sore head. I do not know how long I, wa how long I was there before awaking. Do you think that we are in Athkatla? I'm unsure. I may have been drugged when I was brought here. I may have been unconscious. Either way, I do not know how long. If it was the former, this place could be anywhere. If it was the latter, then I don't imagine that I could have traveled very far without noticing. What do you propose to do now? I do not know a way to escape this place. Perhaps we could search for this exit together. Okay, I would be pleased to have you join me then. I shall be happy to lend my blade to your cause. There are two things that I have discovered about this place that may help us escape. In the next chamber beyond the one in which we stand, four portals lie. Each of these portals releases a little crackling fiend which tries to kill me. These little beasties keep coming in through the portals. Perhaps if the portals are destroyed one could defeat the beasts that already came through. Shortly beyond the chamber there is a hallway that contains several wands mounted in pedestals. They blast all that walk before them. I have noticed that each wand is locked into the pedestal and could be removed if one had the proper key. I do not know where these keys are. Let us begin. Okay, and here we have Yashimo. He's a bounty hunter of the 10th level, 160,000 experience points. Quite a decent strength, good dexterity, good constitution. I d you know, the best that he actually needs, more than 17. It's not necessary for a non-fighter. Okay, intelligence. Okay, charisma. I think he's a he's a good thief character. He has moved silently at 100, open locks at 65, find traps at 100, pickpocket sucks, and hide in shadows is not too good either. Detect illusion sucks too, set traps is not too good either. And he's proficient with katana, dagger, short bow, and single weapon style. When asked about his past, Yoshimo seems disheartened that you are not already acquainted with his reputation. By his own account, he is apparently well known among people in the known, both as a daring rogue and as a dashing man about town. While the story sounds impressive, he seems ungainly for such exploits, possibly a bit more helpless than Demonair. He wears it well, however, and perhaps even capitalizes on it. He seems to know that his kind of good-natured humor is well appreciated, by most everyone he meets. So yeah, he has a few arrows, and a short bow, and a katana plus one. And leather armor. Dang it, I should have brought studded leather armor for you. I always forget that. Ah, can't be helped then. No, to you. So we give him a few arrows. So he doesn't cry. Okay. What do you require? Uh, how about forming up here? Consider it done. And save. And and I am ready. Live, live by, by the sword. Live a good life. <laughs> okay. Smoke methods. Yes. Ah, oh, I say we kill those portals first. Two battle, and victory! <laughs> One portal down. Two battles and victory! Of justice! That's such a good. And the other one. Oh, the eyes move. The hero is asleep. I oh, shall not kill yeah. to you. Okay, it worked. So what do we have here? What is my task? I will do my best. Another wand. 
There's a chest here. And another one. One. Oh, inventory full. We also have two doors apparently. My honor. Okay, so we form up. What's that? A body lies upon the table. It appears that he has been experimented upon. It is hard to tell how long he has been dead. Colleen? Colleen? No. This, this is an illusion. A dream. A bad dream. Where are the mirrors? The switch is to pull to show where he's hidden. Khalid! Damn. Damn you! Damn you. I will have the heart of who has done this. I will tear their blackened heart from there. I will... I... No. This... This is Khalid? What has happened to him? Shut up! No more words. Words are nothing. I knew him not, but I mourn for your loss. Stranger! Nobody! I will not hear your words. Leave me! A brave man has fallen, but it is, it is no cause to hurl insults at the living. Here, who shall comfort you? Imbecile! Affront to nature! What do you and your road know? What can you know? No words. No more words. Save your speeches and save your proverbs. The only voice I wish to hear is... is that. No more. No. No. So... Sylvanas guide the light to the source. Take this man to what he justly deserves. By nature's will, what is given is returned. What was turmoil is now is now peace. I lead of my heart, let my love, my love guide the way. We we must hurry before we are noticed. We must get out of this this grave and seek the light above. Let us go. There may be a way to get him returned to life. Should we not try? He... Khalid is dead and has been for some time. Beyond the point there can be no raising, especially when the body has been... has been desecrated. We live in a time of miracles and nature allows the rebirth of many that have passed beyond the veil. But there is a time when... when it's better to let go. Then we will not disturb his body further. We will honor his loss with future deeds. That is the way of things. There will be there will be payment for this crime, and I shall not rest on it that it is collected. When we are able, there will be enough. I will leave this place. Jahira, I want to say how sorry I am about Colleen. I I know this is hard. No. We do not know. This is not the time for this conversation, child. Stop calling me child. I'm as old as Haywood Chaplomi, and besides, I can tell you that Kali did not suffer. What are you babbling about, Emoran? I'm not in the mood. I'm not babbling. I saw him do this. Khalid was dead when our capture started doing those things to him. You saw this? You watched as it was done? He... he showed me. He cut. And... and showed me. He forced my eyes open and made me look as he... Stop. I don't want to hear this. He said I should see, so I would understand. But I don't know what he wanted. He would cut and say, say, do you see? Cut and say, do you see? Be quiet, child. No more. Oh, damn it. Khalid is dead. And we will end the video here. So, thank you very much for watching, and see you soon. Bye.